hello for guys it's Kaloha back with another video <laughs> currently like almost 12 30 in the morning and i got my cup guys this is the cup that i ordered from creating joy make sure you go on their instagram page to order a cup like so this is the fall cup that i ordered that i customized um it's a snow globe fall cup so it has like little fall leaves on here i posted the picture on my instagram story so definitely go check out creating joy and dm them to dm her to um customize your tumbler your um flask she even does t-shirts i'm getting t-shirts made y'all but yeah, this is the cutest cup ever. And I love getting Starbucks cups. But you know, these ones are like amazing. Like this is a great size. And it's so cute, y'all. I'm I'm so thankful. My code Agape10 when you order from Creating Joy. And yes, you'll call, you'll get a discount. So go ahead. Check her out. I absolutely love my cup i'm opening it right now to use it and yeah it's just amazing i love it so much because I don't have tortillas but I still want to do breakfast burritos and um so I was like trying to think of what I if you hear bells it's because we live right next to the, um the main like catholic church like the main cathedral and they always like ring the bell every hour so like just to tell people what time it is and i think it's like 12 30 that's why the song is happening like normally when the bell rings it'll just do like ring according to how like what time it is like that's how many like if it's seven o'clock in the morning then the bell will ring seven times that's what the sound is anyways i want to make like breakfast burritos for breakfast even though it's 12 30 in the afternoon i just woke up um i want to make oh, i forgot to put my toner on that's okay we're just staying home i was trying to look for like a tortilla substitute and everything that i found either needs um like I couldn't, like I, I didn't even like go on Google or anything. And the first thing that came into my mind was roti. So I looked up roti on um, 
on Google on like how to make it. And the one, there was like a YouTube video that I saw and it was like super easy. So I think I'm gonna do that one. Um, and I'll link that YouTube video down below. But yeah, I don't even, Saul is at work. He's been at work since um, last night. Like he, he came, he went to Amanabe to like there was supposed to be a reach out our church reach out um but then it started raining so they canceled it and he just ended up staying in Amanabe to help around the house there and um didn't come home until like almost nine so he came with his brothers his his older brother and his younger brother so he came with both of them and then um they hung out here at the house while Saul got ready for work because he started at like 12 midnight and you know might as well just get ready here at home instead of um going to work without taking a shower and stuff like that so i packed his bag i made his brother a tea um because it was going to be a long drive so i wanted to give him something to drink on the road and then they just hung out here until he got ready, until he was dressed to go to work. And then they left at like 10 something. But I think they left almost at 11, like 10 something, almost 11. So yeah, it was, it was a good small fellowship. I gave his brother like some sheet masks or like some peel off mask that he was using i gave him like one of these i didn't know that this was in here I, I meant to give him all of them but i guess there's one in here left but yeah so today we're gonna go do coffee I and mean, we're gonna make breakfast and i'm just gonna show you guys what i do when i stay home every day i have some projects that i have to work on for the new year um, and for the rest of this month for the business and Salt actually wanted to restart our t-shirt business but this time it's going to be a drop shipping um, business I'm going to go through like Teespring or Custom Ink or something or like a platform like that yeah I've had like I've had trouble with like I tried doing a test run with printing it on our own and then shipping it on our own and that just didn't work out like i i apologize to everybody who had to wait for their shirts and are still waiting for their shirts because it's just been hard we haven't been having the car and i got sick and i just been now that i'm like not working a full-time job and i'm focusing on the business our businesses like I have more time on my hands but it's the it's the it's really not having a car that had really pushed everything back and stuff so yeah I, I had to find ways to do my our businesses online where I can just stay home and do everything remotely so drop shipping is definitely an option for that but for now we're just gonna do everything remotely so yeah we're gonna go to the kitchen now i want some coffee and um we're gonna get started on breakfast because i'm hungry <laughs> read the recipe so i just wrote it on this on my notebook um i have my wax warmer here so i'm just gonna light it up because it's just what i need got my tea candle the scent that i'm burning is it's on my instagram like the highlight that says halls um I think it's called milk and cookie. Why are you not looking? I think it's called milk and cookie. 
cookies or milk and cookie. I don't know. But yeah, I keep all my wax melts in like these little jar things. So these two are more of the like holiday scents that I have going on. And then this one has like fresh scents. So the blue one is like clean linen. And the orange one is like Hawaiian breeze, I believe. I'm gonna burn our wax melt and then I'm gonna do my coffee because I need coffee. I haven't been drinking coffee in a long time because I wasn't really feeling well. So I didn't wanna like mess up my insides with some more coffee. Last night I made um, some coffee and I put it, why is there a fly in here? I made some coffee and I put it in this little um, pitcher. So, that I got from Creating Joy. I'll insert some clips of the video, the footage that I took last night showing you guys my cup. Basically, I wanted like a mock version of the Starbucks fall cups that I've seen, the snow glow cups. And y'all, this is like so close to it. Like, you guys have not watched my video the one where i did a promo code for creating joy definitely definitely would recommend going and ordering from her if you want like snow go cups or mock starbucks cups because where i live we don't have starbucks so i wanted that experience of getting like a new fall themed starbucks cup so definitely, I would definitely recommend her. She did a really good job. It's so freaking cute. And then it has like the orange straw and orange lips. I need to make another one because I know I'm going to want coffee later on. And then I'm not going to have any. So I need to make another one. I ran out of coffee creamer. But then I remembered I have like this bag of sugar and coffee creamer that we've been collecting like any anytime we go to mcdonald's so it has creamer inside i think i'm gonna do the royalty first because that just seems like the right thing to do right now because that's like the hardest thing to get done my coffee use my code agape 10 definitely worth it so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the process um it calls for margarine or butter and it says two tablespoons so i have my butter in this um coffee mug i'm gonna just put it in the microwave just to nook it for a little bit since we're talking about bible study it's like something interesting that i was really studying last night and it was in romans 14 to 16 really wanted to like with this verse i really wanted to like sit down and analyze the chapters because it was chapter 14 15 and 16 i really wanted to like sit down and analyze everything and then really like dig deep into what i wanted to like what was being taught in the scripture when i was going through the scripture there was like verse five of chapter 14 was bugging me it was like really bugging me and let me let me let me just get it. you can see i like wrote notes in here and then in my notebook there's like tons of notes it says one person esteems one day above another another esteems every day alike let each be fully convinced in his own mind me when i first hear that verse I think, okay, so people worship God one day and other people worship God another day, which is kind of like, like Seventh-day Adventist Church, they worship, they do services on Saturdays. And then Pentecostal churches, they do services on Sundays. I was like, okay, that doesn't make, that, like, it wasn't making sense to me. Like, it might make sense to you who's watching this right now and you're probably like, really, that doesn't make sense to you. But I was reading this out of the spirit. I was reading this out of the thinking that I needed more knowledge about this. Like I was just reading it just to read it. And then once I prayed and I asked the spirit to, to teach me, the Holy Spirit to teach me, yo, it opened up so many mysteries. And it was like, and then what I got from it was 
believers should not make what they sense is right or wrong to be the reason why they live a certain way that may not even be scriptural because in the um like analyzing section or the reference section of this um verse it says believers should make their consciences do not condemn them and then act on what they believe being responsible to make judgments about things not specifically covered in scripture just to refer to colossians 2 16 to 17 and when i wrote when i read colossians 2 16 to 17 it was basically talking about like what was really hindering the church at the time was legalism and legalism the definition of legalism is basically making laws like depending on laws more than depending on faith and so what conscience is the sense of right and wrong and so it, what it's saying is to make sure that your sense of right and wrong is not condemning you or is not being the reason why you act a certain way the substance of life is through christ i wrote like a little summary of it but i wrote was believers should not make what they sense is right or wrong to be the reason why they live a certain way that may not even be scriptural the main focus in life is being according to christ in how the scripture tells us to live the center of a christian life is faithfulness and the love towards god whether it be obeying scripture or seeking to apply scriptural principles in life. In Romans, believers that were saved out of Judaism um, were living in the church. I mean, we're going to the church in Rome. There were people like, because of legalism, the laws and traditions and festivals and whatever that they had, the Jews were like very traditional at this time. And mind you, the death and resurrection of Jesus is what helped us to have the significance of having a relationship with Christ without all the traditions, without all of the rituals, with all, without all the laws and stuff like that that we had to obey back then in order to have a relationship with Christ. So now that Jesus had died and resurrected for the world, we're able to have a relationship with Christ without all of these traditions. The Bible takes the example of the tradition that they had with how they ate. The Jews had a traditional way of cooking their meat, which they call it kosher. And the way that kosher works is there's like this whole definition of how Jews prepared their meat, and it's basically like they drain the blood of the animal they strip the fur and stuff like that and then they don't cook it with milk or with anything else like like that meat had to be cooked separately and it had to have its own utensils and stuff like that they still had that mindset that they had to obey their tradition so therefore instead of working their way around not eating kosher meat that they had prepared specifically in this way they just didn't eat meat at all so they became vegetarians the whole thing about judgment started when people were judging the jews for not eating meat and then paul comes in and says okay well judgment works both ways and so it's not just the people who eat meat that are judging the people who don't eat meat it's also the people who don't eat meat that are judging the people who eat meat. And so that example of judgment was based on people using traditions and laws that are not scriptural based and implementing them into their life when really the whole purpose of our life is to worship Christ and to live according to scriptural principle we're not really focusing on how to live according to the instruction that's in the word of god and let me tell you when you really really dive deep into your word there's so much instruction in this one book how to live your life that is like it's right in front of us like the life manual is right in front of us judgment is one thing that we do not have control like we do not have the authority of 
we we do not have the authority to judge anybody else like we will all the bible says that we will all face judgment one day and it will not be we will not be judged by our peers we will not be judged by our fellow co-workers or our our fellow classmates we will be judged by the most high so i just wanted to share that with you because it's very very important to read your word of god there's so many mysteries that have been um revealed to me in just the 30 minutes or an hour that i put into really diving deep into my word I, my butter has been done i've just been talking so we have our butter where's my notebook I'm gonna be needing three cups of flour. I have my bowl here and I'm gonna boil some water because we need a one and a half cups boiling water. I need three club cups. Three cups, but I'm gonna eyeball it because it's just me. Flour, and I'm gonna put the butter inside now. So the video says to like break down the butter and oil into the flour. To make it kind of like breadcrumb texture. Put in the water little by little and just mix it until it becomes a dough. This is what it's looking like. The dough is coming along. Okay, so y'all see my dough. Now it says for you to divide it into equal parts. So it says 13, 12 to 13 equal parts, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get that out of this. So let's go ahead and try. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we got twelve equal parts. I think it says to roll it, and then we can go ahead and toast it. Hey guys, so I'm sorry that took forever. My best friend just called me, so I had to attend to her. But right now I'm frying or frying i'm toasting the roti and this is what it came out to look like it's exactly how it tastes like when i was a kid so i'm gonna fry i mean i'm gonna toast all of these and then i will put the camera back on when i'm making the filling for them so i finished the roti this is the final product. My best friend just texted me that she's gonna come over and she wants some, um, she wants a breakfast burrito. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making the filling.
have our filling, which is potatoes, onions, and scrambled eggs. closing this vlog up now because we don't have any more to show you guys like i'm literally just having leftovers for dinner that you guys watched me make this morning but yeah that's basically all that i did today but that's like a regular normal day for me when i stay home i love you guys all in the powerful name of jesus christ like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys